All right, welcome back, everybody. Today we are talking about mass versus weight. What's the difference? How to calculate them? Everything like that. So, mass is the measurement of how much matter or how much stuff is in an object. Okay, how much matter, how much stuff is in an object. Weight is a measurement of how hard the force of gravity is being exerted on an object. Okay, so key word here, how hard the force of gravity is being exerted on an object. So a lot of times, you know, the mass and weight relate to each other. However, weight is completely dependent on the force of gravity. <clears throat> so what would happen to your mass and weight if you travel to different planets? So we should know, like, here on Earth, the gravity, gravitational pull, primarily has an acceleration of around uh, 10 meters per second squared. But if you went to different planets or different bigger objects like the moon, you wouldn't weigh as much because there wasn't as much gravity. But if you went to bigger planets like, I don't know, Neptune, whatever, or something, you know, it would have, you'd have a much bigger pull because the gravity is more. Okay, so what would happen to your mass and weight if you travel to different planets? Your mass would stay the same because the amount of stuff, even if you went to other places, would be the same. But your weight would fluctuate depending on the gravity of the planet. Okay? All right, so and if you went into space where there's essentially no gravity, you'd be weightless. But you wouldn't be massless. You'd still have stuff inside of you, but you would be weightless because there's no gravity in space. Essentially no gravity in space. <laughs> All right. Uh, no time mass and weight. The mass of an object will stay the same regardless of where that object is. However, the weight of an object will be different depending on where that object is located. For example, let's say we have a 5 kilogram dumbbell. This is five, uh, dumbbell is 5 kilograms in space, Earth, and on the move. However, this dumbbell would be around 0 newtons in space, 50 newtons on Earth, and 8 newtons on the moon. Okay, so the weight is pretty different. Weight, which is the same thing as force of gravity, is equal to the mass times gravity. Okay, so formula right here. Weight is equal to force of gravity, and we should know force of gravity is equal to mass times uh, gravity. Okay. Weight equals force of gravity, and it was equal to mass times gravity. Okay. Let's do, uh, here's a cool video kind of visualizing things, but uh, let's do a little bit of example. So we're just filling in the blank. So the name of the object. So we have a bottle. It has a mass of 0 0.08 kilograms. What is its weight on Earth? So remember, weight is the same thing as force of gravity, which is equal to mass times gravity. And we should know uh, the mass is 0 0.08, and gravity on Earth is 10 meters per second squared. So this is going to be 0 .0, uh, 0 0.8 newtons. Okay. Oops, sorry. Uh, 0 0.8 newtons. <clears throat> okay, a printer. So printer is 2.2 kilograms. And to find the weight of it, we're just multiplying by 10 because that's the gravitational pull, 10 meters per second squared. So 22 newtons. A table has a weight of 82 newtons, which means its mass, we're just dividing it by 10, is going to be 8.2 kilograms. 12.3 newtons is a chair, that's the weight. That means the mass of it is going to be 1.23 kilograms. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Okay, uh, moving on. Here we go. Uh, fill in the blanks again. Uh, we should know that gravity on Earth is essentially around 10 meters per second squared, and gravity on the moon is essentially 1.6 meters per second squared. So this is going to be a little bit different. <clears throat> so it won't be as simple, I guess. So we know the apple has a mass of 0 0.21 kilograms, which means the weight will be just times 10, 2.1. But for the moon, it only has a gravity of 1.6. So what that means is we can't just multiply it by 10. We have to multiply it by 1.6. So I'll show how this is done first. Weight of the moon is equal to uh, the mass, in which in this case is the apple is 0.21 kilograms, and the acceleration of gravity on the moon, which is 1.6. Oops, 1.6. So if we do the math... Uh, 0.21 times 1.6, we get 0 0.336 newtons, or simplify 0 0.34 newtons. Okay, uh, let's, all right, let's just kind of, I'm just going to kind of fill out the masses and the weight of Earth. Uh, well, maybe not, maybe I'll do the moon too. So, 
toothbrush mass 0 0.003 kilograms. The weight's going to be 0 0.3 newtons. Okay, I'm just multiplying by 10. But for the moon, I'll do 0 0.03 times 1.6. 0 0.03 times 1.6, and we get 0 0.048. I'm just going to put 0 0.05 newtons. Okay. <coughs> a car has a mass of 20,000 newtons. That means it's ma oh sorry weight of 20,000 newtons. That means its mass is going to be divided by 10, 2,000 kilograms. So now I'm going to take that 2,000 and multiply it by 1.6 to find the weight of it on the moon which is going to be 3,200 newtons, a lot less than on Earth. All right, textbook. Okay, this one's maybe a little tricky. Uh, we see that's 2.4 newtons on the moon. Um, so maybe I'll try to show the work for this one because this one's a little tricky. Okay, so the weight on the moon, I'll just move right now. Weight on the moon is equal to mass times gravity on moon. Okay, weight on the moon is 2.4 newtons. That's how much the textbook is. We don't know what the mass is, but we do know the gravity on the moon is 1.6. So I'm just going to do 2.4 divided by 1.6, and I get 1.5 is the mass. Then I can multiply by this by 10 to find it on Earth, which is going to be 15 newtons. All right, backpack for weight on Earth, we're just multiplying by 8, 10, 28 newtons, and then I'm doing 2.8 times 1.6, and then I get 4.48 newtons for the moon. <clears throat> okay, computer, the mass, I'm just dividing this by 10, 12 kilograms, and then at 12 kilograms for the moon, I'm doing 1 times 1.6, and we get 19.2 uh, newtons. Okay, again, this one's a little tricky, uh, but I think you can do it by now. I'm just doing 1.92 divided by uh, 1.6. This is the same thing as like the textbook, the same procedure. Uh, so I'm just doing 1.92 divided by 1.6. And I get that the mug has a mass of 1.2 kilograms. And then I know the, ma uh, uh, the weight of the mug on Earth is going to be 12 newtons. Okay, I hope that helps. Take your time with it. I know I did a little bit quickly, but take your time with it. Okay, and remember, key thing to know is weight is the same thing as force of gravity. Okay, all right. Where would you have more gold? Three pounds of gold on Earth, three pounds of gold on the moon, both will have the same amount of gold. Okay, so pounds is a weight. So we should know that if we had three pounds of gold let's let's say we have three pounds of gold on the moon uh, on earth okay so let's say each gold weighs one pound okay however in order to have three pounds of gold on the moon what that means is we would need to have a lot more gold in order for it to equal the same amount okay so we'd have to have a lot more gold in order for this to be three pounds on earth and three pounds on the moon okay so where would you have more gold you'd have more gold on the moon okay okay uh what this isn't saying is there'd be a lot more mass of gold but the weight would be different okay weight would be the same okay you are starving and decide to go eat a whole plate of vegetables Immediately after, uh, do you gain A, mass, B, weight, or C, both? Okay, <clears throat> so the answer is going to be both. And you're going to be, what? How do you gain mass? I thought you'd, your mass doesn't change. Well, your mass will change if you're, look, it's, remember, mass is the amount of stuff that you have. So if you're consuming stuff, then you're going to have more stuff inside of you. So when you have more stuff inside of you, you're also going to weigh more if you're on Earth or on, on a planet, not in space. Um, but your mass will also increase. Okay, so your mass and weight will increase. Okay, let's say that you want to lose some weight, but you don't want to change your eating habits at all. And you don't want to exercise at all. Explain what you can do to lose weight. All right, think about it. All right, you can go to space or a different planet where the gravity is less. You know, just, you know, lose 100 pounds going to Mars or going to the moon. Yep. 
<laughs> All right, guys, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you with the next one. Bye.